Ooh, favorite Christmas tradition. I would say either getting in the car with hot chocolate and licking Christmas lights. Old school tradition, I guess. <laughs> or something that I did as a kid that now my kids do is we have our kids buy for each other in secrecy. So there's three of them. And so we'll split them off in two. Say like the girls will go and buy something together for Vaughn, my son. And then my son will go with the oldest daughter and they'll buy for the youngest. And it's this little mathematical equation of gift buying together. And they get to really think about the other person. And I really, really like that tradition as well. So it's like sentimental. And I also like like the parenting aspect that brings to that about thinking of the other person we have a price range. We got to find something in the price. You know, there's there's a couple of life lessons that fall within it, and I really, I really like it. <laughs> I mean, what is more powerful than a lit Christmas tree at night? Like before you go to bed and you're staring at it, like in the window, like or the window behind it and the tree. Nothing. Like it brings out so many emotions. Now, if you really want to get emotional, you add a little kid standing in front of it, looking at it. Like just, this, it's beautiful. I love it. it. Stands for so much. It stands for my faith. It stands for tradition. It stands for family. Just all the things. We're, I'm big, like I'm obnoxious when it comes to Christmas decoration. I have too many trees. So it's enough. Like that keeps me busy decorating for a month. We only decorate three. So I have a main, our main tree which is a theme, I guess, more color scheme. We have an entryway tree, just what people see when they walk in the door, that's a color scheme. And then we have like our family tree, which is all like the handmade ornaments or sentimental items that the kids do completely by themselves. We do not, we help them like string lights and stuff, but we don't like try to perfect the placement of the ornaments. We just want them to totally do it themselves and be proud of it. So, and then I have other ones, but they're naked. So I literally just throw them out of the bag and it's like tree. So when I tell you how many trees I have, it's kind of embarrassing, but if you knew how long it took to put half of them up, it takes like five minutes. Not, nothing too crazy. Gosh, there's so many. Christmas vacation, of course, elf. And then, um, no, Elf, yes, Grinch, and then Christmas Story with Ralphie. Ooh, you know what's a good modern day one is uh, The Family Stone. Have you seen that? I never get sick of it, and I don't know, I only watch it at Christmas time or The Holiday. Both just mm, romantic, cozy classics, both of them. One was up till March. <laughs> Put it in there! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> one, so funny. Episode one, I think, of season three, there was a Christmas tree in the background. We filmed that in the middle of March. So sometimes I'll get it all down in January, but a lot of times I don't. I'm lazy and it stays up a long time. I always say November one, but the last couple of years I've been a little, this year I'm starting November 1. Like November 1, day after Halloween, we're doing it. Wednesday, mark it. If I'm doing all that work, it needs to be up for at least two months. I mean, this is like a personal one, but my, me and my brothers, we've always done Christmas together, like with my parents even, and now everyone's married, has significant others. And so we're kind of on like in every other year. And this year is an on year for like everyone staying at my house. So I'm really excited about that. We still get together, like even if it's an off year, they come over on Christmas day. So it's still, but usually when it's an on year, everyone spends the night Christmas Eve. So we're all there, like when we wake up in the morning.